Oh, it's your boy, The Shells, and if you're new to the channel, welcome to Shells World TV. If you hear a noise in the background, that's the space heater, aka radiator. Anyway, y'all. So, you see the title, we're going to be reacting to a new Nukes Top 5 video. This came out two days ago. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So, anyway, y'all want to go watch the original video? The link will be in the description. All right, let's get right to it, man. Hidden. Not too long ago, I featured a video by Chet Ghost Hunter Bono from the YouTube channel ILMN Bono Paranormal. In the video, Bono traveled to an abandoned car parts factory in the city of Ostrava in the Czech Republic. The factory has been deserted for almost 60 years after a large explosion in the building tragically took the lives of several workers. Mm. The factory is said to be haunted by the angry, restless spirits of the deceased workers. Now, since his last video, Bono has returned to the Czech factory to show new viewers and subscribers that came over for my video where he captured all of the terrifying activity. Most of you are probably from Nukes Top 5 video, so welcome everyone. Actually, what Nuke got wrong is that this window is, was not a, ref a reflection. Behind this window is this hallway. Ah. So the figure. Of I was just remembering this video from one of the um, compilations I had reacted to. Now it might have been the last video I did for 2020, or it might have been a video before the end of 2020. I'm trying to remember right now, but I do remember seeing this video. So that wasn't a mirror. That was a. That was another hallway. Okay. Ghost must walk here. And here is the closet. Hmm. Yeah. That's weird. It was op it was opened before. What is here? Everything the same, I think. You saw, oh my god, <laughs> I got scared so much that I accidentally stopped the recording. <sighs> there was like caps and it fell. Oh my god, that is a mess. I was standing right here, it was just like a meter behind me. Almost immediately, strange things start to happen in the old abandoned factory. Bono is startled by the sound of cups suddenly crashing to the floor. He decides to just leave that area and do an EVP session in another part of the abandoned factory. He uses his iPhone to record audio as he asks a few questions in his native Czech language. He requests that the spirits give him a sign of their presence. He gets a frightening answer. Můžeš mi dát nějaké znamení, že tu jsi? Dummy. No, I'm sorry, but come on. It sounds like something is thrown in Bono's direction. Shocked, he turns toward the sound and... Did you see it? No. Watch again. Můžeš mi dát nějaké znamení, že tu jsi? Right after the unexplained sound, a translucent shadow-like figure is caught on camera quickly moving past Bono. Yeah. However, hmm. he is completely unaware of what he just captured and doesn't see anything that could explain the strange sound. And this is not the only time the explorer captures something creepy on camera without even noticing. Door. And I hope these uh, are not see-through because if they would be, they would see my light. Did you see it? No. At the end of a long hallway, a shadow figure can be seen peeking out at him. Mm. He pants the camera back only seconds later, and the dark figure has disappeared. Bono has no idea, but something seems to be following him as he explores the factory. And the strange paranormal activity in the building just seems to intensify. As you can see, I am just right here. The big hole is there, and no, no, 
no way. No f***ing way. A heavy cart inexplicably starts to roll across the floor on its own. Bono is more than a bit freaked out by the incident and runs upstairs. Well, hey, you asked for a sign and now you got it, right? <sighs> Tommy. After giving himself a few minutes to calm down, Bono cautiously continues his exploration. Again, he shows one of the rooms from his previous video, a room that seemed to be especially active on his last visit. Things take a terrifying turn. Here is the room with the chair. This chair moved on my previous video. What else do we have here? Some, uh... No! As Bono is showing a chair that seemed to move on its own in his previous video, a large cabinet on his left captures his attention. Suddenly, all of the doors swing open, sending the terrified explorer running from the abandoned factory. Bono decides he's had enough and just ends the video. But there's still a large area of the building that Bono hasn't explored yet. So despite all that he's seen and heard, he returns once again to film in the abandoned factory. It did not go well. As Bono is going up a staircase, he suddenly hears a sound behind him. When slowed down and brightened, you can see what appears to be the same shadow figure he captured earlier, but now it's right behind him. This time he actually sees the bizarre black mass with his own eyes, and with that he finally decides that he's had enough and he makes a run for it. So did Bono capture the restless spirits of the workers who tragically lost their lives in the old factory? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You gotta travel with a squad. You gotta, you know, be with a bunch of people so that in case something happens, you know, you just, you don't go into an abandoned place by yourself, man. But hey, it is what it is. A haunting in Holland. Now this next video was sent to me directly, and despite my efforts and research, it's pretty much shrouded in mystery. Be ya he me be boy? What? what? I, I don't know if I pronounced that right. I have no idea about the specific details on this video, other than to say it's very, very creepy. The video was posted to YouTube by an anonymous channel and features a woman in the Netherlands allegedly experiencing terrifying paranormal activity in her home. completely alone at home when she claims to hear <laughs> no. Yo. Woo. Yo, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. That that um wow. Bro, oh my goodness. Let me gather my thoughts. Yo, can you imagine being by yourself somewhere? And then you see, you know, a silhouette figure just 
popping out from from you know a dark corner of your house. It, let's continue, y'all. Wow. Explain sounds all around her. As she films, her ceiling light starts swinging back and forth, and the kitchen light flickers. When she looks inside the doorway, multiple drawers and a cabinet have somehow opened on their own. Now absolutely terrified, she turns to walk away when suddenly she hears the open kitchen drawer slam shut and the light goes out again. Right before the camera cuts, a strange figure can be seen looking at her from inside the doorway. Now given the anonymous nature of this video, I don't know who the woman is and I don't know what happened to her. So for now, this video remains a complete mystery. Is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? I've watched so many of these compilations and I've only ever jumped maybe once or twice. This would now be the probably the third time this has happened to me. But that right there gave me chills, y'all. I'm just saying, like, yo, this is why you gotta be very careful with, you know, the kind of energy you invite into your life because for all we know, this, this woman, she's had very bad luck and, and who knows? All I can tell you is if I saw that, I am out of there immediately. I'm not sticking around to figure out what's going on or what it wants. I'm gone. You can have the apartment. Matter of fact, you know, you can have the deed and all of that. Like, honestly, I don't want that smoke. <laughs> like, that's that type of stuff you don't want to be dealing with. Nope. Unholy. An anonymous YouTube urban explorer who goes by the name Urbex Hill has a fairly new YouTube channel dedicated to exploring abandoned locations in Cleveland, Ohio. In one of his videos, he travels to a decaying 100-year-old Catholic church that was left abandoned long ago. The building that was once a site of architectural beauty now appears to be in a state of severe deterioration, with collapsed ceilings and rotting floors. YouTuber Urbex Hill is carefully making his way through the church when he accidentally captures something very unexpected on the upper floor balcony. Urbex Hill doesn't even notice when right in front of him a wooden plank suddenly just moves on its own. When replaying the footage, it's obvious that there's no reason for this piece of wood to take this strange slide across the floor. Completely unaware of what he just captured, Urbex Hill continues exploring and eventually finds the basement of the abandoned church. Using a flashlight, he walks down into the pitch black cellar, and that's when his exploration becomes the stuff of nightmares. Oh. All right, so it's clear to me that in these abandoned places especially, shadow people love to just be around just chilling. And I'm guessing he didn't see that because, you know, clearly he, um, he didn't have a reaction. Although there have been people who say, you know, some of this stuff is set up you know, just to get views online, but I don't really know. I mean, it's possible that that's what they're doing, you know, just to spike up the video, but you never know. But that last one, oh boy, nah, I don't think, <laughs> I, I don't think I could stay in that apartment again after that. Nope. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe. But anyway. Did you see it? Yeah. When the explorer pans his camera, a dark shadow can be seen standing in the basement with him. The figure doesn't reflect any light and appears to have no visible features. What makes the footage even stranger is that Urbex Hill had been exploring and looking around the basement for a while before the shadow figure appears, but the only footsteps you can hear are his own. But the story gets even a little bit weirder. 
because YouTube commenter Goya Flava believes that this same creepy dark figure can be seen even earlier in the video. This thing seems to be quietly watching Urbex Hill from a doorway as he explores the main floor of the church. Or could it simply be a very odd trick of the light? What do you think? That ain't no trick of the light. Come on, man. See this full video and many more creepy abandoned explorations over on his YouTube channel, Urbex Hill. Down the dark hallway. Popular Italian ghost hunters from the YouTube channel PIT Paranormal Investigation Team travel to an abandoned World War II bunker in a snow-covered valley in the Italian Alps. The bunker is absolutely huge as it goes deep into the mountains and covers multiple floors with many narrow hallways. The creepy location has an even creepier story. Many soldiers lost their lives inside this bunker. This is giving me Paris Catacombs um, vibes. If you ever saw that movie, I believe it's called As Above, So Below. I'll get the right title in the video. It's giving me that kind of vibe, this one right here. Today, local residents claim that they often hear unexplained gunshots and wailing shrieks coming from inside the long abandoned shelter. Many believe that the ghosts of the fallen soldiers still haunt the narrow pass and hallways inside the World War II bunker. Paranormal investigation team Paolo, Deborah, Jack, Simone, and Marco carefully explore the narrow maze of winding tunnels inside the bunker to investigate the claims of paranormal activity. Eventually, they make their way several floors underground and start walking down a seemingly endless creepy tunnel. But then, the five investigators start to hear strange unexplained noises from deep within the bunker. Understandably, they begin to get a bit frightened and their nerves are on edge. Then, this happens. What can you want to do? The group is terrified when cameraman Jack suddenly feels something touch his shoulders from his end of the creepy tunnel, and then host Deborah hears something running towards them from the opposite end of the tunnel. They feel trapped and surrounded by something. They decide to just get out of there and find a larger space to continue their investigation. The PIT team conducts a spirit box session and they get some very, very strange answers. Even though they are in Italy and are getting mostly Italian responses, Suddenly, they hear a voice on the spirit box speaking English. But things get even stranger as they continue to hear unexplained sounds coming from somewhere inside the bunker. As the cameraman Jack explains that it's hard to tell where the sounds are coming from, Guarda, c'è un'ombra. Mezzo al corridoio. Mezzo al corridoio. While taking photos of the tunnel in front of them, Simone captures what appears to be a figure at the end of the hallway. Hmm. But apparently PIT host Paolo is unfazed. He decides to venture off alone to explore one of the dark tunnels. He sees something... You haven't watched enough horror movies to know not to go by yourself anywhere. Anywhere at all. 
Just don't do it. Absolutely chilling. Hey. Ne abbiamo sentito quei passi. Correre prima, cioè. Sì, sì. Non è che stavano scappando da noi, si stavano già alzando. Ehi? Chi c'è? That's giving me super anxiety. That's giving me anxiety the way he keep panning the camera. Anyway, yo, that's that's yo, that's a lot. Wow. Making me think something gonna jump out at him. A dark figure walks from left to right at the end of the tunnel right in front of Paolo. Mm. He runs after the figure, camera in hand, but when he reaches the spot where the figure disappeared, there's nothing there. Not only that, but there's nowhere the figure could have gone. Just a blocked off tunnel wall of rocks and stone. Whatever the figure was, it seems to have disappeared into thin air. Hill Hotel. The Gold Hill Hotel in the small town of Gold Hill, Nevada was built all the way back in the Wild West days of the early 1860s. The hotel and the surrounding area have a very dark past. You see, right behind the hotel lies the Yellow Jacket Gold Mine. On April 7th, 1869, in the Yellow Jacket Gold Mine, a raging fire broke out, causing much of the mine to collapse with the workers inside. An estimated 35 miners lost their lives in what is now considered to be Nevada's worst mining accident of all time. Many of the miners' bodies were just never recovered. They remain buried somewhere in the collapsed mine shaft. Their spirits are said to still haunt the area to this day. One of the more active spirits at the Gold Hill Hotel is said to be that of a miner named William who resided in room number five before perishing in the gold mine fire. Today, visitors claim to smell an odd strong tobacco odor when they enter room number five. The hotel is still open. Yeah, no wonder. I mean, if, if there's an accident by somewhere and the people didn't die peacefully, only imagine that, you know, the spirits are restless, so I'm not really surprised. Well, and the hotel's still open. How brave of them. Yeah. Others say that they've seen the frightening apparition of a miner roaming the hotel halls. Guests also report that they hear unexplained knocking things move on their own, and hotel doors slam shut, locking guests outside. Another spirit that is said to haunt the hotel is that of a so-called, quote, lady of the night named Rosie, who stayed in room number four while entertaining men during lonely nights. Just like William, she's sometimes seen in her room, but also aimlessly wandering around the hotel. In a three-part YouTube series, twin paranormal team Ryan, River, Nick, and Wyatt investigate the many claims surrounding the mysterious Gold Hill Hotel and its two lingering unwanted guests. The guys hang bells at strategic locations throughout the hotel as the jingling will detect any movement. And even though there's no draft in the hotel, the bells continue to jingle. Bells. bells on video, and then we, we tried to leave. Me and River both died. Look up. Just turn it. What? The bell! The bell! Did you touch the bells? Who's ringing bells, dude? You, you heard it that time? The keys are here. Impossible if they're there. What is that? Who keeps ringing the bells? They hear unexplained voices and the sound of knocking on the walls and ceilings. Now they're coming back. Whoa. Did you hit that? Oh my god, no, I did not touch that. Are you sure? Were you filming? Yes, I'm filming. Are you sure you didn't touch that? I swear on everything. Were you filming? Can we look at that again? Yes, I, I'm going to look at it right now. 
As Ryan checks the camera in the bathroom, the cabinet under the sink mysteriously opens on its own. Don't touch anything. Now, what Ryan and River don't know at the time is that right after this incident, over in vacant room number five, which was Goldminer Williams' room, their static camera captures something truly bizarre. Well, if you open that, someone was in here, then thank you. We are definitely not prepared for that. That's for sure. Did you say fire? It just said fire, right? What's that sound? I don't know. That just said fire. What the f is that sound? This ghost is a troll. While Nick and Wyatt are downstairs and Ryan and River are in room four, next door in vacant room five, a chair inexplicably begins to rock back and forth on its own. Almost as if something is sitting there. The twin paranormal team members hear a strange thumping sound, but they have no idea what their static camera is capturing in room 5. Later in the investigation, while Ryan sits in the same room all by himself, again, the chair moves. I just heard a groan. I don't know if it was them. Across. Across. Are you across from me? If you are, please move something. River, Nick, and Wyatt are downstairs doing a spirit box session while Ryan is upstairs all alone in room five. He doesn't even notice it. But again, the chair in the corner of the room starts rocking back and forth. Later, things take an even more terrifying turn when the twin paranormal team members are now all together in room five. Did it just go off? It's ticking. Beware. 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 Oh, shadows again. If you can, Nick, um, try and follow where you're getting those spikes. just say it's around this area you didn't say did he breathe before he said anything no. i just heard a nick is holding an emf meter that gets triggered by something and only seconds later a dark shadow like mass seems to walk past their static camera over in room four this is the same room where rosie the gold hills lady of the night is said to have been seen by many recent hotel guests so did the twin paranormal team capture evidence of a haunting on camera? Could it be that the ghosts of Rosie and William are still wandering the Gold Hills Hotel after 150 years? Let me know what you think. Okay, y'all, so that was five scary ghost videos that will scare away your mama. <laughs> I mean, yo. Yeah, that one with the lady in her house. And you know the silhouette figure came out the the dark room, just peeking, just peeping out of her. Yo, that one really got me. And the other one with the guy in um, the abandoned church, and you know the shadow figure was around. Yeah, man. Listen, you will never ever convince me of doing a paranormal investigation, especially by myself. That would have to be a one in a million chance that you ever see me doing something like that. And I would have to be with a group of reliable people. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But, um, I take back what I said with my last video when I made a comment under the comment section, you know, that these videos haven't been scary lately. I guess they, you know, you know depends on the compilation you're watching. But, yo, I hope you enjoyed this, all right? So if you enjoyed this reaction that I had to this new Luke's Top 5 video, the first reaction of 2021, by the way, right? So yo, if you enjoyed it, then leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. I make new videos for every Thursday, and once again, it's a show the world TV. I make reactions, sketches, and vlogs. So don't forget to hit the, <laughs> so don't forget to hit that bell to be notified every time I make a new video, all right? And follow me on Twitter and Instagram at shows world 
underscore ENT, the new handle, because I had to make a new one. I just figured it was time, all right? All the links for everything will be in the description down below, all right? And download all my latest music for free for streaming or for purchase, all right? All the links for those are also in the description down below. I want to thank y'all for watching, all right? So if you want more of my reactions, then click that playlist right there. And if you want more recent videos, then click that over there. I am so I'm gonna edit this so it's your boy the shows and I will see you guys next time when I upload. Peace.